solving film tracking problems on your M-Series machine at high production speeds, check out your brake roller. Hello, Nadir at Viking Masic Packaging Technologies with another quick tip video. Today's video is about the brake roller on one of our most popular machines, the M250. Today I will talk about the function of the brake roller and how to set up its timing. The M250 is an intermittent motion machine, meaning that it starts and stops the film feed while making bags. On an intermittent motion machine like the M250, the function of the brake roller is to slow down the film's momentum during the machine's stopping motion. The momentum of the film during the stopping motion causes slack to form in the film feed at high speeds. The slack can make tracking the film difficult, especially at higher production speeds, because slack causes the film to jump around on the rollers. Proper timing of the brake roller can fix this problem and improve tracking consistency. Before we get into brake roller setup, take a moment to hit pause and read our safety notice. Don't hurt yourself or somebody else with the machine and please do not chop off your fingers. If you need a hand, call the number at the end of this video to contact our certified service department. Schedule a visit by one of our friendly technicians. Now with that said, let's get to it. The brake roller is stopped by a pneumatic cylinder that presses on a specialized brake pad attached to the brake roller. The timing of the cylinder's actuation is controlled on the PLS page of the Human Machine Interface, or HMI. Note, be sure the film is properly routed around your brake roller. Follow the guide stickers on the machine. Follow these directions to turn on the brake roller and change its timing. Step 1. Using the HMI, access the Programmable Limit Switch PLS settings page by touching the PLS icon. It's the icon with the arrows in a circle formation. Step 2. Turn the brake roller on by touching the on-off button. The machine will need to be in setup mode to do this. Step three, set the brake on time. Touch the settings box to enter the virtual cam timing degree when you would like the brake actuation to start. Step four, set the brake off time. The off timing mode of the brake will depend on your PLS setup. Either set the duration of time in milliseconds to activate the brake cylinder before it turns off, or set the cam timing degree to deactivate the brake cylinder. Note. If you would like to change the PLS off timing mode, touch the PLS setup button, then touch the time duration button to toggle the off timing mode. Press return to go back to the PLS page. It may take some trial and error to find the perfect time and duration to stop the roller and minimize film slack. But in general, you want the film brake to engage and stop the roller slightly before the pull belts stop the film. And then you want the brake to disengage the roller before the pull belts start pulling the film again. Once you find the proper timing, you will notice that the film feed will look tighter during the stopping motion of the machine, and your tracking will wander less. Also, if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below and check out our other helpful videos from the Viking Mesa crew. Help me get those views up. For reliable operation, keep the surface of the roller clean. Regular cleaning helps the roller maintain its tackiness to grip and stop the film. Be sure to use a cleaning method consistent with your machine's application and environment. Also, Periodically inspect the brake pad for wear and replace it as necessary to maintain roller stopping power. If you need parts for your machine, contact our certified parts department at the number at the end of this video. Well everyone, that's how the brake roller works. 
Until next time, happy packaging.